If you're repurposing old clips or making a compilation video in Canva, there's a huge mistake that most people make that hurts your video's reach and engagement. Back in February, I had to pause all filming because Canva was coming out with new features on April 10th. With such a quick turnaround, I didn't have time to film a full new video for April 14th. I decided to use the clips that I filmed for my live stream on April 10th for that video. But I realized without fixing this one common mistake, my video could have looked tacky and turned off potential viewers. Before we talk about that mistake, I want to show you how to build a compilation video in Canva. The first thing you need to do is make sure you're logged into your Canva account. And then we're going to click this one that says video because this is a compilation video or one that you want to make longer. We're going to make sure we have the right formatting. We're going to go with video landscape. This is for a regular sized YouTube video. What you're going to want to do is make sure you upload. Let's click upload any video clips that you want in your compilation. We're just going to click upload and then you can upload the video file from here. I probably already have several clips. We're just going to demonstrate with that. Let's say I've got this clip. I want to get rid of this segment right here that's showing me all this. I'm going to right click and hide element timing. And then I'm going to click on this word pages to get rid of that. That's the way I work the best. We're going to size this to the canvas and click add a page. We can add another clip. Give me eight minutes. We can add another clip. We'll have a longer video. Here's a longer video. I'm adding these videos that are the same aspect ratio as my background. Could I add YouTube shorts to this compilation? Sure. Let me show you how. Let me click add a page. We're going to click this one. Creators, if you're I can size it so that it is in the middle of the canvas, but you're going to have all of this extra space. So you can fill that space one of two ways. One, just leave it plain, but that's not very professional and it does sort of look tacky. But the other way would be to actually duplicate your video. We're going to go to this button right here that says volume and we're going to get rid of it. We're going to mute the volume from it. We're going to right click this and set video as background. And then double click and maybe bring it down a little bit. Click on the transparency button so that you can reduce the transparency of that video to see the color coming through. That's a way you can add YouTube short size to a landscape video. If you're doing a compilation of a bunch of shorts and you want it in a long format video, I've made two or three mistakes here. This would not make for a good compilation video because I didn't put any thought into what the clips were before I added them to the page. And also I mixed and matched aspect ratios in this video. You can do that. I've done it in the past. It just looks a little more professional if they are the same dimension. Again, this is a way right here with the video in the background, it gives it the non YouTube short format. I wouldn't just want to export this as is, but just to show you how to export a video, share, download MP4 video, you would select all the pages and you would download it just like that. If you just put in a bunch of old clips into one video editor and then hit export, your final video is probably going to look choppy, messy, and just like a lazy old video clip mashup. Here in a second, I'm going to talk to you about the four ways that you can avoid that. But before we do that, I do want to have a creator to creator talk with you. I just showed you how to upload all of these things into Canva and you can edit your videos right within Canva. However, 
that is not my workflow. I think it's better to use the tools that work best for you. I use Camtasia to film and edit my videos. And then I use Canva to enhance my videos. Why did I want to have a creator to creator talk with you? I'm actually currently editing a compilation video right now. And I'm not talking about for this channel, I'm talking about for the project help desk. The most recent project my husband and I have been working on is our garden outside. We have become very good friends with another channel called down home backyard gardening. And that friendship actually began last summer when we began participating in something called a tomato challenge where we plant one seed and there was a competition about who could grow the biggest tomato. Last year, I only filmed and edited YouTube shorts for that challenge. And this year I just say, you know what? I'm gonna film regular videos for this and include those segments throughout our other videos. Basically, we have a gardening 2025 playlist and the tomato challenge is part of each one of those videos. It's going to be time to cut off our tomatoes for the challenge. I have filmed a lot of footage that has gone into these garden videos, but there's not one video that shows the process from us planting the seed to us up potting the tomato to us planting this tomato outside to, oh, there was wind damage that damaged one of the tomatoes. I didn't have one video that showed all of that. And I thought, ooh, I should make a compilation video. I should slam all these clips together. I don't want just people that come to that channel to see, oh, this is the same footage that I've already seen and leave. But let's talk about the four key steps that I'm going to use to make sure that this compilation video feels brand new and fresh to not only the audience that I already have, but also potential audience members. And at the end, I'm going to share with you a bonus tip that I just thought of that's going to pull it all together. The first thing you want to do is think about the story that you want to tell. Why do I want to make this one video? It's because that would be really great for the audience so that they can watch all of the tomato plant footage with one video instead of needing to watch 10 videos. Plus, I can add bonus footage that no one's ever seen before because I forgot to publish it. Think of your why first, because even if you don't have a lot of time, you still want to think about why you're publishing this video and what story you have to tell. With the compilation I'm working on right now, the story is the tomato challenge. So every single clip I want to use in this, I'm choosing clips with a purpose because they all match the tomato challenge concept. With that being said, we're gonna come to the next thing. You're gonna film a fresh intro and exit. But if you start your video off, the same way you started off an old video, if someone starts watching that, they're going to think that they are seeing the exact same video. So start it off differently and then end it differently. That's exactly what I'm going to do with this tomato challenge video. This helps your video feel like a brand new video. I'll talk more about intros at the end of the video because that really is the most important piece. Next up, you want to trim and arrange your clips carefully. Don't just slam the full videos together. Cut out parts that don't fit the story and cut out parts that are repetitive. Make sure that one clip flows nicely to the next, which brings me to the next thing you can do that will make your compilation videos feel like a brand new video. You might need to film a quick talking head that bridges from one video to the next video. This bridging segment can help your video feel more cohesive. You remember I said there was a bonus tip that I uh, just thought of while I'm filming it, and that's to actually 
watch your calls to action. If in each clip you say, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you say that five, 10, 15 times throughout this video that's 10 minutes long, it's obnoxious to the viewer. Pick one or two clear actions that you want your audience to do and choose that for the new video. You can use one that you've already filmed that's already in your original video, or you could film a fresh one. I've created a checklist that you can look at that will help you repurpose your content like a pro. This checklist is linked in the description box below. So go snag your copy today. Now, remember when I said that I would talk a little bit more about the beginning of your compilation videos? Watch this next to see how to improve the beginning of your video. Oh, and if you don't mind, share this video with a friend that you think needs help with compilation videos.